Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vocabulary lesson. In today's video, I am going to teach you the names for rather common household tools. Some of you um, might be aware that the word tool can also mean idiot. So just so we're clear, when I say household tool in this video, I'm not talking about that annoying cousin who won't go away and just hangs around your house like a bad smell. I'm talking about uh, <coughs> these things. To start with, we have a spanner, which is also known as a wrench in the US. This particular spanner is an adjustable spanner because you can use it on different sized objects. Normally it's used to tighten or fasten um, nuts and bolts, but you can also use it in emergency situations to hold on to things uh, such as this. This is another type of spanner, but this one is called a ring spanner, just like the ring on your finger. Hmm. Would that work? No, maybe not. So you use this to fasten and tighten nuts on the end of bolts. Uh, this is perhaps not the right size, but I think you get the idea. So what I'm taking off there is a nut, normally they're hexagonal in shape. This is a washer, a washer that's seen better days. And on the right we have a bolt. This is a regular spanner, but like the ring spanner, it comes in all different shapes and sizes. How exciting. This is a pair of pliers, which you can use to hold on to things and twist to things like your brother's nose for example and it can also be used in emergency situations. If you've ever bought furniture at IKEA then you probably have a couple of these. These are Allen keys and you use them to tighten nuts and screws. Speaking of screws, here is a screwdriver. This is a flat-headed screwdriver for those very common screws that just have an indented line in the top or a slot. Uh, I don't think this one is the right size. I clearly wasn't supposed to be a builder. It's always nice when you know you haven't missed your vocation. This one here is a Phillips head screwdriver used with Phillips head screws. That sounds oddly like a sexual position. This is an electric drill. I can feel the vibrations already. You use this to put holes into things, but for body piercing I do recommend you go to a professional piercer. These are drill bits if you want to change the size of your holes. And if you are very young, um, unless you are Amish, you probably haven't seen one of these. This is a hand drill, so just like the electric drill, but you use your hand instead of electricity. This is a tomahawk, but I know it looks very similar to an axe. You can use it just like an axe for cutting off fingers or cutting down your neighbor's tree. This is a chisel. Seeing as they've been around for thousands of years, I probably don't need to explain what you use it for. Normally you do use it with one of these, a hammer, but I better not do that on, on my mother's dining room table. And here we have a mallet, a bit like a hammer, but you use it for big serious stuff like uh, tent pegs or your ex-boyfriend's 
presence. Here we have a saw. This is a wood saw. As you can imagine, it's used for cutting wood. If you want to cut metal, you need a hacksaw, which you often see in movies, um, hidden in the birthday cakes of prisoners wanting to escape. This is a scraper used to remove wallpaper or, or paint. And here we have a tape measure. This tape measure has a small spirit level on the top here. A spirit level is used to check if a surface is horizontal. This is a bigger spirit level and it's called a spirit level because this liquid is normally a type of alcohol. Don't you like the sound of that? That's it for today guys. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to click on the thumbs up. And if you have any questions or requests for other videos, please don't hesitate to write them in the, uh, no, not the info box, in the comments down below. I have also put some links in the info box. I have Facebook, I have Twitter. I think that's it. See you next time.